Hello guys, how are you? Welcome to Cosmic Essence Education. My name is Maitre and in this video we'll be looking at the graphs of all the trigonometric functions. So let's get started. Okay, so let's look at the next function which is y is equal to cos x. The period of this function is same as sin x which is 2 pi as it is just the reciprocal of sin x. So the values will repeat after 2 pi. Now, at 0 radians cos x is not defined but it will tend towards infinity as angle tends towards 0 in the first quadrant because it is positive. At pi by 2 it is equal to 1. At pi again it will tend towards infinity in the third quadrant just before pi radians. Just after pi radians the value of cos x will be considerably high but with a negative sign so minus infinity just after pi at 3 pi by 2 value is minus 1 and at just before 2 pi it is minus infinity since it has a negative sign. So using this knowledge let's make the graph of cos x. Okay, so now we see that 0 or the angles on the x-axis are asymptotes for the function. So 0, pi, 2 pi, minus pi, minus 2 pi, all will be asymptotes for cos x. 0 is also an asymptote. Now, let's make the graph. From 0 to pi by 2, value goes from pi infinity to 1. So from infinity to 1 it comes like this. Then from 1 to infinity between pi by 2 to pi. So again it goes like this. In the uh, From pi to 3 pi by 2 value goes from minus infinity to minus 1. So the curve goes like this. And from, from 3 pi by 2 to 2 pi value goes from minus 1 to minus pi. So the curve goes like this. And this gives us the graph between 0 and 2 pi. So we can just repeat this to get the complete graph. This is the graph of y is equal to cos x. Alright, let's look at the next function which is y is equal to sec x. The period of this function is also 2 pi as it is just the reciprocal of cos x so whenever values of cos x repeat value of sec x will also repeat so period is 2 pi if you look at the coordinate plane cos x is equal to 1 when angle is 0 at pi by 2 it is not defined but in the first quadrant it will be positive so it will tend towards infinity in the second quadrant as soon as the angle becomes greater than pi by 2 the value becomes negative so it will be minus infinity at pi it will be minus 1 in the uh, third quadrant it will be negative so it will tend towards minus infinity at 3 pi by 2 just after 3 pi by 2 it will be positive so infinity to 1 using this let's graph sec x Okay, first we see that the angles on the y-axis, uh, for those angles, sec x is not defined. So those angles become the asymptotes for sec x. So 3 pi by 2, pi by 2, 5 pi by 2, minus pi by 2, minus 3 pi by 2, minus 5 pi by 2, all are asymptotes for the 
function sec x y is equal to sec x now using this let's make the graph from 0 to pi by 2 the value goes from 1 to infinity so it goes from 1 to infinity from from pi by 2 to pi value goes from minus infinity to minus 1 minus infinity to minus 1 like this from 3 pi by 2 to 2 pi value goes from minus 1 sorry from pi to 3 pi by 2 from pi to 3 pi by 2 value goes from minus 1 to minus infinity like this and from 3 pi by 2 to 2 pi value goes from infinity to 1 like this so this is the graph of sec x from 0 to 2 pi we can just repeat it to get the complete graph of the function this is the graph of y is equal to sec x right. so the next function is y is equal to cortex the period of y is equal to cortex is pi which is the same as period of tan x since cortex is 1 upon tan x whenever values of tan repeat values of cot will also repeat so the period becomes pi that is same as tan let's look at the coordinate plane for cortex cortex is not defined at zero radians so in the first quadrant the value tends towards infinity at pi by 2 cortex is equal to zero at pi the value of cortex is negative in the second quadrant so it tends towards minus infinity just after pi the value of cortex is plus infinity as cortex is positive in the third quadrant at uh, 3 pi by 2 the value of cortex is again 0 and at 2 pi or just before 2 pi the value of cortex will tend towards minus infinity as it is negative in the fourth quadrant so if we graph y is equal to cortex sorry, pi. okay so the angles on the x-axis are asymptotes for the function so 0 x is equal to 0 x is equal to pi x x is equal to 2 pi x is equal to minus pi x is equal to minus 2 pi all these angles are asymptotes for y is equal to cortex now uh, the value of cortex goes from infinity at 0 to 0 at pi by 2 and then from 0 to minus pi sorry minus infinity at pi so the value goes from infinity to 0 at pi by 2 and then minus infinity at pi like this and since the period of the graph of the function is pi we can just repeat this to get the complete graph of y is equal to cortex This is the graph of y is equal to cortex. So guys, we covered all the graphs of the functions, trigonometric functions in this video. I hope you liked the video. If you did like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Uh, so we can bring more videos like these to you. Thank you.